Hey, how you doing? This is Coach Carvel Bailey, and in today's video, right? Today's video, let's let's talk about, and let's keep it current, right? Let's talk about Ben Simmons, right? So everybody right now is like um, torturing Ben Simmons, right? Totally criticizing him, totally um, going in on Ben Simmons for uh, like he's the fall guy of the Game Seven loss with Philadelphia 76ers. Well, before we even get into this video, let me first explain that one player really doesn't win a game. That means that one player really doesn't lose a game. All right? So let's shift our mindset. Let's shift our focus from that. One player doesn't win the game by themselves. One player doesn't lose the game by themselves because basketball is a team sport. All right? So even if one person scores 50, they didn't win the game by themselves. If a person, right, just like didn't do anything necessarily positive, they may have didn't lose the game by themselves. So let's get into this whole Ben Simmons thing right now. And so, again, everybody is going in on Ben because of really his lack of confidence, right? Everybody is going in on Ben Simmons for something that everybody in the world deals with, has dealt with, or will deal with. Right? Especially if you're an athlete. You've either, you're either dealing with it currently, you have dealt with it, or eventually you will deal with it. And that's the issue of confidence, self-confidence, self-assurity, belief in yourself that you can do one thing or another. Well, I don't personally think that this is all Ben Simmons' fault for having the confidence issues that he's had but the biggest thing that i want for parents to understand is this ben simmons was a lottery pick highly recruited highly touted player out of lsu as a freshman highly touted player right out of australia in high school highly touted player when he was recruited and drafted, however, Ben Simmons has gifts. Bill, uh, ben uh, Simmons, right? That is his name, right? Ben Simmons, right? Has <laughs> ability. Ben Simmons has a package. At the beginning of the year, people, actually the last month of the year, Excuse me, Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid were both in consideration for the defensive player of the year. So Ben Simmons has qualities that are assets to the team that he plays for. But regardless of all those assets, they aren't very useful if you lack confidence. Does that make sense? And so what we've seen now what we've seen is an athlete that has tremendous ability on both ends of the court. Regardless if he can shoot a jump shot, regardless if he can shoot a free throw or not, he is an asset to a team when he's confident. Because he was an asset to the team the first 85% of their season this year. And he has been an asset to their team over 50% of the time that he's been with his particular team. So what are you saying, Coach Bailey? What are you saying, Carvel? I'm saying that no matter how good an athlete is, no matter how many God-given abilities and talents they have, none of that works if they're not confident. <laughs> none of that works. And so while lots of parents, lots of athletes are just sold on Let's score, right? Let's 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 be able to put up shots. Let's deal with the physical development. Yes, Ben Simmons needs to go work on his free throws. Ben Simmons needs to work on his shot. But shooting free throws or being able to shoot free throws, being able to shoot a jump shot as opposed to not shooting a shot that has nothing to do with skill development has nothing to do with skill development. So while everybody is running around talking skill development, I'm one of the few 
that's been preaching from the top roof. It's all about mental development. And so I just want to implore you, right, as I make this video, as I end this video today, why everybody talks about Ben Simmons, right, and wants to just like, like, like crush Ben Simmons right now. Understand that what Ben Simmons is going through at this point right now can be fixed, but it has to be fixed with a greater awareness. And so if your athlete does not have an awareness that helps with their confidence, their physical abilities won't mean jack. All right? So hey, that's it. That's that's all that I got for y'all. I'm gonna go live and 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 really I, I really 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 want to break this down a little bit later. But it's almost like a house built on sand. None of those physical attributes, right? None of that skill development matters until you get your mind right. And once Ben Simmons is able to get his mind right, everything else will flow. But now the issue comes in with not just having him, him in the gym working on his free throws, working on his shot, is really, really understanding why he's not shooting. Understanding what he's looking at, what he's thinking about when he's at the free throw line. And until that happens, nothing happens. Until that changes, nothing changes. And so maybe your athlete is having the same issue. Maybe your athlete is great physical wise maybe they can jump out the gym maybe they can shoot the leather off the ball maybe they can lock up 94 feet but when adversity hits right when adversity hits like a game seven or when it's all on the line when the lights come on what's going to be that mentality and if you as a parent haven't taken time out to help your athlete improve their mentality don't feel embarrassed or don't get upset when their physical capabilities get exposed. Because it's bound to happen at some point. All right, so that's it. That's all I got for y'all today. Coach Carvel Bailey, listen, if you haven't had a chance to check out my free training, right, my free case study video training, go check that out at BeTheRightRecruit.com. BeTheRightRecruit.com. Ben Simmons has, has been the right recruit since high school. He picked LSU. Everybody else thought he should have went somewhere else, right? He picked a school that was the best fit for him. Pros is a little bit different. We know he got traded draft night. We do know that. But he's been recruitable. But now, how do you carry out what others saw in you and what you know you can do? It starts right here. These six inches right in between your ears. All right. So go, go check out that case study trainer uh, that I put together specifically for parents just like you. And if you need help, if you know that your athlete is not really being recruited and it has nothing to do with their physical skills, then you may want to come down our street and apply to work with us. And let's hop on a call and see how we can help you and your athlete understand the barriers and the challenges that's going on in their head to help them overcome the barriers and the challenges that they'll face on the court. All right, Coach Carvel Bailey, talk to y'all. Peace.